Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today's video is going to be another fall tutorial. I'm so into fall and autumn mode right now. Like I just want to do everything that's fall inspired. So I wanted to do another fall look, but today I wanted to be a little bit different and do some color. I haven't done anything like colorful, colorful wise in a while. So I thought why not incorporate a green olive like smoky eye. It's still incorporating color, but it's still so fall appropriate and so beautiful And I think that this look turned out really really nicely forgive like if you see any kind of like cracking in my face My eyes and my nose got really 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 runny throughout this video because I don't know my allergies were starting to act up really badly And so like I just couldn't stop anything like all my orifices were just leaking why does it sound so fucking gross? If I look like kind of like a disaster right now, I apologize. I try to get through the tutorial as quick as I possibly could so that I wouldn't like be a gross mess. But yeah, other than that, you guys know the drill. If you guys don't like this kind of video, if you guys don't like me, don't fucking watch it. Just wanna spank that ass. But if you guys do like this video and you guys do like me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and comment what you guys wanna see next. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this full face tutorial. Okay, great. So we're gonna go and start this tutorial. I actually have no makeup on whatsoever. I only have moisturizer on. I wanted to do a full face kind of thing. I didn't want to just kind of be like basic and just do the eyes, even though the eyes are the main point of this video. But I wanted to do kind of like a get ready with me style. So yeah, we're just gonna go in and start doing the whole entire face. Let's start this bitch. Let's get started. We're gonna take the Mineral Primer Veil by Hourglass. I haven't actually used this on camera before, but I've used it a couple times. I actually really like this primer. I've used this one a couple times, and it's really nice for its oily skin. It feels really, really nice. It's expensive as hell, though. Oh my god. It's so expensive. It doesn't give me like that silicone feeling and it doesn't like fill in my pores like I wish that they were fills in. But mama has big pores, so I like to cover that shit, but that does not happen with these primer. For foundation, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible, which is my fucking baby. I'm in the shade 103 Natural Buff. I'm like running out of this thing severely. And I'm just gonna kind of put that on the T-zone with a beauty blender, a damn beauty blender. So I'm press that into the T-zone. This foundation is just so good, and it's from the drugstore. It's so cheap. It's just so good. I put it mainly in the T-zone, though, because that's where I get the most oily, and this is more of a mattifying, oil-controlling foundation. T-zone covered in this foundation, and then everything else is left bare. For the rest of my face, I'm going to be going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick. I use this in my Makeup Forever tutorial, and I'm just going to kind of cover up the rest of my face, mostly on the cheeks with the stick. This is like a full coverage foundation that gives you more of a natural finish. I'm just gonna put that on the perimeters of my face. The reason I'm avoiding the T-zone is because this does not help prevent my oil whatsoever. I get still oily as hell when I use this. Mix and match people, mix and match for whatever you need. On the ears too, perfect. Now my base is based up. So next for concealer, we're gonna conceal these fucking bags. These bags are bad. They are not Chanel. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Maybelline Masterclass in the shade Light. I'm gonna take that underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna go right from the tube. I love this concealer. And I'm also gonna highlight with it as well. It's just so good. It's like full coverage, super brightening, but you need to set it extremely fast. Like you can't like wait to set it cause it will kind of get creasy. And then I'm gonna mix that with the MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost just to give me some more brightness underneath the eye. You know my ass likes to be highlighted to death. And then Beauty Blender it out again. And then taking my trusty Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder on a Morphe M438. I'm gonna just run that over my eye just to kind of set everything. I'm so well rested. <laughs> that is a huge difference. Look at that shit. Look at this brightness and happiness and awakeness. And then look at that fucking shit. It's so sleepy. So now for the highlight, I'm gonna go in with just like a cream highlight before I go in with powder ones later. I haven't powdered my face or anything like that yet, but I'm gonna take the Jouer Champagne Highlighter. I just got this recently and I haven't tried it yet, so I'm just gonna try it. And I'm gonna use my ring finger and just kind of press that over usually where highlights go. <laughs> It's a very pretty, glowy, rosy champagne tone. It's very natural though. This like by itself is very natural, I think. It just gives you more of like a glow from within. Actually really quite stunning, wow. Very beautiful. I'm impressed. Hmm. I'm gonna go and powder my face just because I wanted to get that face done and beaten to death and it's pretty beat. I'm gonna take the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in medium with my Morphe G0. You guys know the drill with this. It's just my favorite brush. It's my favorite powder brush of life. I love the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish powder. It literally gives you like a skin finish. I think it's absolutely beautiful and it gives you the most natural looking powder finish. Even if you're dry, like I think people, even people that are dry would love the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. It's kind of expensive. It's like 32 bucks for a powder. I was like, <coughs> 
What? Hopefully you have a friend that works at Mac and can get you that discount, bitch, because you know how that is. Are you guys excited for Halloween time? Like, I love Halloween time, but I suck at doing Halloween makeup, so I never really do, like, Halloween shit, you know? I'm super excited, though. I'm super stoked for Halloween. I cannot wait. It's gonna be so fun. October is such a full-ass month. Like, I'm so nervous for October because it's gonna be so crazy. I think I'm gonna be going to Generation Beauty. I'm not really sure yet, but I think I am. There's Halloween, obviously. It's just, it's gonna be a crazy-ass month. I can already tell, like, October is gonna be a fucking madhouse, but I'm excited. What are you guys most excited for? Like, whenever we hit fall time, like, what, what do you guys like to do? Like, Halloween? Do you guys like fall? Do you guys like Thanksgiving? Like, what's your kind of, like, thing? Because I love fall time. I feel like once we get into fall and autumn, it's, everything's festive and, like, happy. I don't know, I'm weird. <laughs> That's fucking weird. Now that we are powdered, let's go ahead and bronze up the face. I'm gonna take Hula, of course, on my Morphe E2. Another, of course. Damn, bitch, I am a fucking creature of habit. When I find products that I love, like, I love them and I cannot stop using them. Like, it's just how I've always been. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up the face using Hula. I love Hula bronzer so much. It's looking good. I think I want to do like a Snapchat q and I feel like a lot of people have been doing like Snapchat Q&As and like they've been going around for like a while now and people are doing them but I don't know if people would want to like if people would want to see that. Do you guys want to see a Snapchat q and I just did a QA and a like a couple weeks ago that's the problem. So maybe I can do one like in a couple months or like in a couple weeks when I my other Q&A is not so fresh. I don't know what do you guys think? Okay so this is the thing a lot of people always ask me like Manny why can't I send you any snaps? The reason you guys can't send me snaps is because I have it set to private to like people that only friends with can send me snaps and the reason is because I get a lot of snap views okay so when you get a lot of snap views and you have your snap set to um, public your snapchat will usually freeze because you're getting a lot of snapchats you know so that's kind of the reason why I haven't been able to really put it on public because my snapchat will freeze and I can't snapchat fucking snapchat needs to like figure their shit out <laughs> You feel me? Just nice and bronzy and bronzy and bronze. I hope this video is not too long. I just feel like I'm talking and I'm very talkative today and I just want to like talk to you guys more. So forgive me if it's too long. Forgive me. I'm gonna go in with some blush. I'm gonna take my Morphe E3 brush and Video Blush by Urban Decay. I've never tried any of their blushes. I just got some of them recently and I really wanted to try it out. Oh, that's pretty. That's a nice like, it's like a flush color. It's like a rose pink. Rose pink. There we go. I'm like, what the fuck color are you? Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. I'm gonna take my favorite like contouring brush now of all time, the Makeup Geek Chisel Cheek Brush. Basically this brush, I'm gonna take the shade. This brush has really revamped my contouring. Who is calling me? Uh, the reason why I love this brush, the bristles are extremely soft and the length of them is perfect. It's a f it is the perfect brush, basically. Okay, so you guys know like about the Eda brush, the NARS Eda. It's a really extremely popular brush that is used for like bronzing and contouring, right? I have the Eda brush and I really don't like it. I've talked about it on my channel before, like that I don't like the NARS Eda. Honestly, when I first tried it, I was expecting something like life-changing. I thought it was gonna be amazing and I was like, oh my god, I cannot wait to try this out. Hated it. Like, I literally hated it. And I was like, what the fuck? Why do I hate this brush, you know? Finally realized that the bristles were just not the kind of bristle I like. I don't like tough bristles like that. It was a really tough brush for me to use. So, when I received this brush, this is exactly everything that I wanted from the Eda. Like, that's why I like this so much. I feel like this brush has, like, really revamped my contouring game because it's just so ridiculously soft. It's so good. Honestly, I don't even know what to say about it, like, without fucking sounding like a cheese ball, but it's seriously amazing. Base is almost done. Now I'm gonna highlight for reals, like, on top of my highlighter. I'm so excited to finally be to use this on camera because they're actually out now. I felt so bad using them before. This is the Anastasia So Hollywood highlighter. I've been using these highlighters for the past couple of months and I am obsessed. I'm gonna take my Morphe M510 brush and just dip right into it and just start highlighting with it. I'm obsessed. Woo! Maybe I went with a little bit too much. Oh my god, I was like, why is this looking so crazy right now? But I just realized I have a cream highlighter underneath it. Let's try to blend a little bit of that out. <laughs> Perfect, so we have the base of the face completely. Ooh, maybe I should do a little bit of nose contouring. I've been really into nose contouring lately. I don't know why. It's just been like something I've been wanting to do. But I've been using this little makeup geek brush. Makeup geek brush. I've <laughs> been using this little shade over here. Dusting off a very little bit. I just want to use a very small amount of it. And I've just been kind of contouring my nose with this brush. Just very, very, very lightly, like nothing too crazy because I don't like to do a heavy nose contour because I feel like it can make me look real, like, fucked up real quick. <laughs> but this brush is pretty freaking perfect for a nose contour because it's so thin, but, like, the bristles are so nice. Like, they're just so good. Boom! Look at that snatched nose! See, like, that was literally, like, 30 seconds. Cool, so now that we're done with the face, we're going to go ahead and do the eyes now, and let's go ahead and get ready for that 
eye. <laughs> so I zoomed into the eyeballs so we can focus on the eyes, so we can finish the eyes. I don't know why I, don't know why I, I suddenly go into accents sometimes. I just do. I'm really weird. I love accents for some reason. I just really do. I already filled in my brows off of camera and I already put on my primer. I use a Smashbox 24 hour as always. It's the best one that I've ever used for. Oily lids. If you have greasy lids, it's the best primer. I'm not kidding. So we're gonna go into some shades now. This is my palette I'm gonna work with. I wanna do like something like different and something more colorful than usual. So wish me luck because I feel like I do neutrals very well, but I don't do colors super, super well all the time. Especially ones that I don't ever work with like green. <laughs> I'm gonna take a mixture of beaches and cream and this beautiful warm orangey shade that shall not be named. And I'm gonna put that in the crease with a Morphe E27 brush. And that's just gonna go into the crease. It's just such a gorgeous, like, warm transition. I want it to be really warm in the crease. I think that's really great when you're doing, like, colorful things on the lid. Like, I love to do a nice warm transition shade. Just to kind of tie everything together, if that makes sense. Like that, so you have this nice, beautiful, like, warm, Oh, warm crease. So now I'm gonna go in with Dirty Martini by Makeup Geek, and I'm gonna go in with that on a Morphe M433. And it's just a really nice olive green shade. It's very, very pretty. And I'm gonna be putting that on the outer corner and into the crease, lower than we have that nice warm transition shade. And I'm taking that all the way into the front of the eye. Just nice light motions. Flipping the brush upwards to blend into the warm crease. Perfect. So now I'm just going to go in with a black base. I'm going to be using the Morphe Gel Liner in Slate. It's just a really nice, just black eyeliner, but I'm going to use it as my base today. I want to go with more of a smoky look, I've decided. So I'm going to take a little bit on a Morphe E32 packing brush. And I'm just going to run that on the lid, closest to the lash line. It's so black and so creamy. It's the, oh, it's so good. All the way up to that... Dirty Martini color. As soon as I'm getting higher and higher, I'm using lighter pressure and blending downwards so I can have a nice little blend. So we have a nice black base down. Looks, looks like that. I'm gonna grab a mixture of high tea and dirty martini on this just Sigma E32 brush. It's like a nice just packing brush. And I'm gonna pack that on the entire lid to give me a nice green, olive green base. I'm using the black base down first because I like the way that a black base gives you dimension for this kind of color. It just, it makes it look so beautiful. And I'm taking that right up to the dirty martini color. Just concentrate on packing on the color. You should have something like this. It's a nice green olive shade. And ding! We're gonna take that M433 again and then mix Dirty Martini and High Tea on the brush and just go into that crease and just blend away into the warm orangey shade that we have going on. I was like so nervous to do this too. I'm like fucking olive green smoky eye. What the hell who do I think I am? And then I'll go back in with that nice warm shade with Beaches and Cream Mix. Just kind of go over the edges still slightly. I still want it to be really warm. And I want to make sure I don't lose any of that warmth in the crease. Because I don't like it to be too cool toned or too green. I guess you could say. I want to have some nice depth and dimension. And you should have something like this so far. Yeah! Perfect. So we have both of the tops of the eyes done. It's nice and blended. I think it looks really, really nice. And I feel like it looks very festive. It's very different for me. I don't really ever do like green or blue or things like that, but I really want to start venturing out into that world. And I think it looks really beautiful, especially with that like nice orangey warm transition and like a nice dark lid. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We're going to be taking the Tarte Inner Rim Liner. It's just like a black eyeliner and I'm just going to line the waterline. This, I swear, this is like one of the creamiest liners I've ever freaking tried. It is so creamy. And then tight line as well. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the black along the lash line. Make sure you coat your lashes too with the eyeliner because you don't want any like little like missing like skin skin spots, you know? I know it looks really janky as hell, but that's okay, because we're gonna fix it. So now I'm taking a Morphe M508. I use this brush all the time. And I'm just gonna smudge out. The Tarte liner is very, very creamy, so it blends out really easily. And now, of course we need to be going over it with green again. I'm gonna take a mixture again of Dirty Martini and High Tea. I'm using Morphe E36 and just blend that over the black. I want it to be exactly the same as it is on the top. And this will take a little bit of time just to cover all the black. And then take that nice orangey shade again. And then go ahead and blend out that Dirty Martini. Just some nice warmth to give it more dimension. Not make it look so harsh and stark, you know what I mean? Okay, so basically I had to like turn off the camera because my eyes were going crazy. Like I, my allergies started acting up really bad. My nose started running really bad and my eyes started watering. So right now I have a spot in my eye that will not take liner. So I'm just going to skip past it. I mean, I've been waiting for like 10 minutes to like let it like subside so I can put eyeliner there. But it just will not take whatsoever. It's too watery. 
So I'm just gonna have to fucking deal with it for now. Um, it just shit happens. I went ahead and I applied mascara off camera just because I didn't know like what the fuck to expect with this eye. So I did that off camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lashes um, because this eye is, is much more smoky and intense. I'm gonna be using my Bella lashes from New Band Thumb. Oh, these lashes kill me. They just make everything so much better than what it was originally. Basically, I totally forgot to do this last step, but I'm gonna take Shimmer Shimmer as my highlight on a Morphe M326. And I'm gonna put that on the inner corner of my eyes, just to really brighten it up. I, whenever I'm doing a really intense smoky eye, I want to go really heavy with the um, highlight on the inner corner and the eyes, just because I feel like it really it really brings the look together. A little bit on the brow bone as well, just a smidgen. And now the eyes are officially complete. I'm gonna go and zoom you guys in to see what they look like. Okay, cool. So now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the lips. I'm gonna take Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in Stark Naked, which is just a nice nude lip liner. I love the Urban Decay lip liner, so I'm gonna use that to lip line. God, these glide on so good. I'm gonna fill half the lip in with it. And then I'm gonna take Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Sand. This is from their Terra collection. I think they're permanent now, I'm not really sure, but I want to go in with more of a cool tone lip. So I'm gonna take this bad boy and put it on my lips. It's very nude. Since the eye look is so dramatic, I wanted to go really nude on the lip. Dang, this is almost concealer. And that is the final look. This is everything. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. That's it for the entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had such a fun time doing this look. I'm like really trying to dabble into color more for you guys because you guys keep requesting it. I got this one comment the other day that was like, wow, man, you just do a warm crease and shiny lid all the time. I'm like, no, I fucking don't. No, I fucking don't fall. But then I realized that I kind of do do that a lot, but that's just my thing, you know, it's like, that's my style, it's what I like to do. So I'm just trying to venture out and do more things for you guys, because I know you guys want to see other things, so I'm just really trying to venture out for you guys. A quick thing, I just want to show you guys this really quickly, because I'm just so proud of it, and I just got it today, literally like 10 minutes ago. My brother brought it into my room, and look what I got. The 100,000 subscriber plaque from YouTube! Are you kidding? Oh my god. I just want to say thank you to you guys. Honestly, like, I just wanted to show it to you guys because I want to say thank you guys so much for the opportunity to even get that plaque. It's because of you guys that I have that. That's not something that, like, I did to get. It's something that, like, my subscribers were able to give me. You guys are my subscribers. You guys are my maniacs. You guys are, the, like, my community. So I just want to say thank you to everyone that's watching this video right now. If you're watching this, I just want to say thank you and that I love you. And I just thank you so much for all the, all the support and all the love. And I can't wait to get that million plaque. If I ever get it, honestly, a million seems so far away. I'm only at, like, 540. So a million seems like years away, but you know what? It can happen. Hopefully it does. <laughs> I'll have to do like a huge ass giveaway at a million. I've already decided that when I hit a million, I'm gonna do a huge fucking giveaway, like a big one. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do a fucking big one. Please feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Everything will be linked down below as always, as well as coupon codes and links to everything I use in this video. Oh wait, one more thing, one more thing. Please request what you guys want to see next for fall or whatever you guys want to see next for videos. I would love to just be able to give you guys the reins more and like let you guys decide things. Like of course I'm gonna like be doing my thing. I'm gonna do me on YouTube, but I would love to get you guys as involved as possible with tutorials and whatever videos you guys want to see, so please let me know because I really take what you guys are saying into consideration when I'm doing videos, so please let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments bar below, and I would love to film it. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, other than that, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. I love you so much. <laughs> Did my stomach just growl on camera? Okay, great. So we're going to go ahead and start this tutorial. I are... The lighting is trying my patience. It's like a peachy pink. No. Serenity behave. Sweetheart, I just spent so much time doing this look. You think you're right, my right eyes gonna fuck with me like that? You're fucking delusional. And to do a little more brightening. <gasps> Don't fall. Oh my gosh, I almost spilled well rested and I would have been not rested whatsoever if that happened. My eyes watery, I poked myself. Ooh, fucking shit. A Morphe M3, what, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, man, I see you. This, hold on, <laughs> just for some more dimension, some more, what the fuck? <laughs>